Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me for another spirit review video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Henry McKenna 10 year old single barrel bourbon, which I have right here. Now for comparison's sake, I decided I was going to go ahead and compare it to an old Henry McKenna 10 year old single barrel bourbon from pre-fire. So before Heaven Hill had the big fire that destroyed their distillery back on November 7th of 1996. And that's what we're going to be reviewing here. So pre-fire Henry McKenna versus current Henry McKenna. Now the mash bills should be, be basically the same. Uh, they use uh, Heaven Hill standard 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% barley mash bill. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do this right here on camera, just kind of open them up. Uh, the one thing I will say about these two that's kind of different from one another is that the new one gives you the actual barrel number. So if we look on the front, let me just cut this, on the front of this one it's barrel 2783 to whereas the new, the old one didn't give you a specific barrel number. Nowhere on here do I see that. Uh, the only way I know it's an actual 1994 is from the date on the bottom of the bottle. All right, so we'll go ahead and open this one. This has got a, um, looks like an aluminum foil wrap type situation going on. There we go. Still the same plastic cap. That's kind of cool. Open the old one first. Color seems to be about the same on both as well. There we go. And now for the new one. And again, retail pricing nowadays for this new tin is roughly around $30, $25, $30, somewhere in there. I think around here I've been seeing them around $29 to be exact. All right, so to the nose. We'll start with, we'll give the old one first. Ooh, that's deep. Wow, that's loads of brown sugar, almost molasses heading on. Nice uh, red fruits pop. Red berries, cherries, a little bit of plum, a little bit of raspberry. Dark chocolate coming through. Some nice cinnamon spice. A little bit of clove. A very, very deep nose. All right, let's see how this new one is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, similar but not nearly as d rich and heavy as this one was on the nose. But it is a little, maybe a, perhaps a little sweeter aromatically. A little more vanilla, a little more caramel on this one than that deep molasses character that I was getting over here. It still has some brown sugar, but more caramel vanilla. So that's the sweeter factor here. A little bit of a little bit of a chocolatey a touch of cocoa powder, similar cinnamon, a little bit of clove, maybe less than over here. The oak is a little more noticeable on this one than it was here. Go back. Oh yeah. This one almost has dark fruits as well now that I go back to it. It's almost like a dried cherries and uh, black currant and, and just kind of dark fruits mixed in there. And this one, I actually do notice the oak a little more. Not, it's not a bad way. It's not a bad, horrible thing. I mean, this is $30. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the tasting. I'm going to do the, the new one first. So. Well, pretty good for $30. Medium viscosity. Whoa, it's swelling. I nice to get a little tobacco in the finish as well. Let's see. Yeah, good medium viscosity. Enters with caramel. A little bit of brown sugar. A little vanilla oak sweetness as well. Kind of starts ramping up even on the mid palate along with a nice cinnamon swell. Cinnamon grows, grows, a little bit of clove in there, not a whole lot, but it's in there. As it rolls over, you start getting that vanilla and oak that was still ramping up with the cinnamon on the mid palate, kind of starting to taper a little bit. They're still definitely there. 
you start noticing the vanilla a little more on the back end the red fruits kind of seem to pop let's see they I noticed them a little more on the finish side of things than I did on the intro let's see they're there up front but that's not what kind of hits you immediately the oak it comes in right away but pretty good red fruits again caramel uh, a little vanilla the oak van um, cinnamon a little bit of clove and it's just rolling over onto that vanilla and oak and a tobacco that kind of drops in on that back end as well so after you get past the mid palate it's kind of pretty long and enjoyable finish the oak seems a little heavy, a little bit out of balance on this specific barrel, um, but definitely a, a nice drinker. All right, for $30, that's nice. It's not enough wrong with it to, to fault it for that big oak or that resiny type oak. It's no worries there. All right, let's go to the, the pre-fire Henry McKenna. Wow, that's a big difference there. Just like the nose kind of showed, this is very, very dense and fairly rich. Uh, the rice spice that I was getting kind of with that cinnamon, I didn't, didn't, maybe didn't mention it, but there is that typical rice spice character there with that cinnamon that you get here. is in here as well, but it's definitely more integrated into all the deeper characters. And it really does come off like molasses, even on the finish. If you think rum type characteristic, that's what I'm getting here because it's not just the brown sugar caramel with a little vanilla. This one's deeper, it's heavy. But as it enters, very, very medium high viscosity, fairly oily. Those dark fruits are what's really noticeable up front. There's some fresh berries in there, but it's mostly dark dried cherries, uh, dried red berries, a little bit of a little bit of a, almost a raisiny prune or fig type aspect as well. Cinnamon and clove are definitely tied together. Maybe even a little bit of orange peel on this one on the mid palate. And as it rolls over, you start getting a little bit of a, a dark chocolate, a rich, heavy chocolate. Not too bitter though. It's, I would say 60%, you know, dark chocolate type. It's very very rich very long lasting on the finish not there is a little bit of an old leather more than the old like tobacco type aspect that i was getting here i wasn't really getting old leather here here i get old leather with a little bit of tobacco definitely getting more tobacco on this one wow that's lovely for 30 dollars. that's ridiculous and i think back then i think it was like I think when I bought this, it was like $20, $22. Very, very inexpensive. We didn't know how well, how well we had it back then, I guess. Uh, anyway, that said, that is greatness. This is really good for $30. And considering what we're getting nowadays, paying $100 for some bottles that aren't really worth $100, this is definitely a pretty good deal. And... Even though I don't believe this barrel, uh, 2783 in particular, isn't exactly a great barrel, um, I have tasted others of this that are definitely better. So don't be afraid of spending that $30 on this Henry McKenna 10. It is age stated. That's something getting uh, to be very rare these days. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great evening and cheers.